What are you doing? Trying out my new dossie board. Well, that sounded like it was supposed to be an explanation. It's a way to talk to spirits. You ask them questions, this little thing moves, and the message is displayed right here. Oh, so it's a Ouija board, but... From Ikea. You went to Ikea without me? When did they start selling ritual implements? Probably when they started selling time machines and artificial intelligence kits. Those are technically possible, sort of, maybe. How is this supposed to work? You just assemble a pile of paper and electronic components and then you're ready to talk to ghosts? Well, making the connection to the spirit world was tough, because the instructions were all in pictures and the goat wasn't included. But basically, yeah. Well, now I'm worried, because it sounds like you might think you can actually contact dead people through a piece of factory-produced cardboard. Any quiet for this. And respect, okay? This is a very serious ritual. If there are any spirits in the room, please tell me. Does Karen like me? Very respectful. It's answering! JP, it's a company cashing in on superstition. It's not real. Behind you. Wow, ten whole bytes of data. No way that could have been stored ahead of time. Kyle, is there a ghost behind me? Think of it this way. If talking boards are as reliable as you seem to think they are, then that means they could be proven to work scientifically. Maybe Karen is behind me. Metaphorically, and it means I should move on. Yeah, that's probably it. If they were proven to be fact, then they would be the most powerful tool of all time. We could learn everything there is to know about the now definitely real afterlife, and our entire understanding of human existence would be turned on its head. Great and mysterious spirit, does Amber like me? It says murder. Maybe it's referring to what you'll do to your chances of being with anyone if you continue to use an off-brand Ouija board to guess whether or not they like you. Maybe. Do you understand what I'm saying? You're psyching yourself out. If you ask a ghost for its name, you're going to subconsciously answer your own question by spelling out a name. Oh my god, I'm being so rude. What is your name? People naturally look for evidence to support what they want to be true. If you believe something hard enough, that's what you're going to see. Jeffrey. Jeffrey. A lot of people are named Jeffrey. Not spelled like that. But it is spelled that way in your head. You see what I mean? Now it says Kyle. What? Jeffrey Kyle. Right. Jeffrey Kyle, who used my Netflix account to watch haters back off? Alright, well, you keep asking the big questions. I'm gonna finish these dishes. Kyle did it. I knew it. For the last time, I didn't watch the... Alright, yeah, you caught me. Aha! See? It does work. No, no, it doesn't. It's just a coincidence. And I know that saying that makes me sound like the second person to die in a horror movie, but that's just how real life works. Correlation does not equal causation. Jeffrey Kyle, does the afterlife still have the internet? And I'm not sure which is more discouraging, the fact that you believe this is real or the way you're using it if it is. Run away. See, even the board is telling you to stop using it. Is Jeffrey alive? Yes, of course Jeffrey is alive. How are you just now asking that? No, I'm not. Jeffrey says he's not. That's not Jeffrey! Kyle killed me. Wait a minute.